Okay, O'Brien family. Um, I'm gonna dive in and I'm gonna show you my first reactions and what I'm tweaking. And I'm really only commenting on things that need to be changed or um, it's like the, of the pros and the cons, I'm only focusing on the cons. Um, and if you want, we can talk about the pros later, but I just wanna get into certain changes right now. So, <laughs> with so much love for everything we've just created, um, when I first log in and I scroll through, this is how I look at the galleries. I log in and I go like this. It's a quick feeling of like, do they all match? Are they all the same color palette? Um, my first notice, I first noticed that like this photo here is kind of gray. Whereas over here, this one's very yellow. That's going to happen naturally because some of the photos are being taken with trees in the background and some have wood. So they are different colors but we need to adjust for that slightly because look here, this photo was taken inside of a tree house, very gray, kind of cold. This was also taken at the tree house and it's super warm and bright. So I understand how the light is different and changes, but like we need to match them more, um, which means one of them needs to be turned down and the other one needs to be turned up, um, probably so they can meet somewhere in the middle. Or uh, we'll, if we really love one, we'll move the other one further to match it. Um, Okay, another thing I noticed is that too many of the photos are just feeling kind of centered, like snapshot on a phone. You know, it, it's like we haven't cropped it. This is also me in camera. I didn't shoot these very well um, because you scroll down and it's like all these photos are kind of just the same. It's like boy in the middle, boy in the middle, boy in the middle, boy in the middle. And so I'm thinking in the editing process to fix what happened in the camera, we want to do some more cropping, like make one of these horizontal um, and maybe just like zoom in on one slightly or just don't include one. Um, like these two photos are both cute. That's, I'm not saying we have to cut one out, but it's an opportunity to give them less photos. Um, because sometimes when we give them lots of photos that are kind of similar, it's overwhelming. They end up not loving any of them because they get watered down when there's so many. Like almost better to just deliver the one that we think is the cutest and then they'll love that photo and they might print that photo. And it's like a spoiled for choice kind of problem. Um, all right, the editing and the lighting on these photos, I, I'm very happy with it. Uh, both from the camera and the way it's edited, it looks warm. Um, they look happy and by comparison to the ones up here, they don't fit. So that's what we're going to go fix. Um, the other thing I'm looking at is that there's a little bit of kind of graininess or blurriness or it just looks a little fuzzy. Part of that's because in the camera, I think the photos were a little dark. It was a little shaky. Like that's partly on me for shooting it that way. Um, but then in the editing, it's like, let's see what we can do to really increase contrast or sharpness or something so that it feels like they are really present and popping out at us rather than um, soft. It's something you'll see, this is how it looks when you take photos on a camera that's a lower quality. Um, it gives you this feeling of fuzziness and my camera doesn't do that. So it means that we should be able to get it to look better. Um, okay, down here in the woods, um, there's something missing. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It might be needing more color, more saturation, more pop just so there's more depth. Like you want it to feel like a magical, like you're going back into the woods kind of thing. Um, one second. Okay, me saying going back into the woods probably isn't actually that descriptive. What I mean is the editing wants you to feel like you're in a magical wood that has depth. So we need to probably increase the shadows um, or like make them richer, richer color, richer shadows, something that's like enticing rather than just kind of flat. Right now it looks a little bit hazy or pasty. Um, see by contrast, this photo here is such high contrast. And then this one's got like no contrast. And then this is kind of in the middle. So again, it's all lighting and how it's shot. It's hard to do this in the woods. And we're working together as a team. So I'm trying to get it as even as possible in the camera. And then you're trying to fix up anything that I, any, you know, you're readjusting for my mistakes when you're editing. Um, okay, let's see here. 
these ones also the lighting is better in these they could probably have a little bit richer shadows just so the texture in the clothes comes out let's go ahead i can just see do you see what i'm looking at here it's like bright green trees really bright colors and then over here it's like more subdued and it's like popping and then soft popping and soft and we want them to all feel the same way so i'm going to edit them so you can see We'll start with that one because that's the last one we looked at. This is actually really great, so I don't need to change very much, but I'm just going to edit it anyway to see what I would do. Um, that looked kind of nice. I just want it to feel good. I go based on the feeling of, like, does it look like a place that I'd want to go? Like, do I want to step into that photo and, like, hang out with those kids right now? Does it look happy and sunny and, like pretty and magical. Uh, I'm definitely not interested in editing so that it's perfectly realistic. Like I'm not trying to um, impress anybody with my realism. It's we're playing with kids in pretty places and it's like just needs to feel happy. So let's see that's I might make a little bit more contrast. Okay, so right now I would give this photo that you edited to the clients because it's close. What I did differently is just a little bit brighter because this the, the darkness here, it feels a little too heavy. Um, and just lightening it makes it feel like, um, see the trees in the background? It's like these dark lines, these dark trunks just kind of make it heavy. And here it makes it more dreamlike, more um, sparkly. And given what we're looking at, it, we're looking at the sky with the sun shining through. And when I'm shooting into the sun like this, it can be, it's creating intense shadows. And by lightening it, you're working with the sun rather than against it. Um, also like color wise, I just like it when the greens are gentle because in the Pacific Northwest, it can be very intense. Okay. Um, also super close, like we could give this to clients, but, um, it's not a hundred percent on what I would do. And would that not be it? That would not be it. Uh, and I'm just trying to help you tweak. So you know exactly what I'm looking for. So we're getting synchronized together, which is cool. Um, I think I just love contrast and pop. I just want them to <laughs> be separated from the background. So I'm looking for whichever preset makes them look like that one's really nice but the colors are a little off so it's like I, I liked it for the depth and the separation from the background um, but and I don't want to make it cold but it was a little bit too orange so maybe I'll just bring down the orange on their skin a little bit but I don't want to lose the brightness of their skin so I'll increase the luminescence the lum luminance <laughs> see how that's like red yellow green I play with this sometimes just to get their skin softly yellow I kind of fucked it up tricky to edit see okay if anything we go in that direction away from here more towards here not loving what I'm doing but it's definitely like it'll be vibrant you just this is definitely how I work though <laughs> it takes a little bit of tweaking until you really feel what's going on with the shoot I'm just gonna check in with your photo by my photo um, Like they just need more of that pop, more clarity. Less yellow. I got too much yellow. I got excited. I 
This is a difficult photo to edit. What I do like though is that um, what you're doing, I, you actually have a much better separation from the background because it's a richer green and then they're yellow. Whereas mine is just a little bit brighter on their skin and brighter on their shirts. Either of those we can deliver to the client. Uh, in this moment, I like your edit better, but maybe just lighten it a little bit. Like, mm, Yeah, they're both close enough. It's kind of a good moment to move on. <laughs> okay. Uh, this one, again, color and everything is fine. I just want it to pop a little bit more. So, um, we can edit yours because that's what you already worked on. Maybe increase the con the clarity. Uh, make the things that are bright a little bit brighter. This is contrasty stuff. Up the shadows. See, this is the dark thing we don't like. If you go too high up on the blacks, it's too washed out. But I like washing it out a little bit and then pulling the shadows down. That makes it have that dreamy feel that I'm talking about. You're making the trees. See those dark lines? By bringing up the blacks, you're making the trees blend more and they look more magical. But then by bringing down some shadows, see when you bring the shadows down, the trees don't get as intense as they do when you bring the blacks down. So the blacks go down, the trees look like that. When the shadows go down, it's not the whole trunk. It's still soft. So I'm just darkening it a little bit. Before, that was yours, and then mine. See, it's just a little bit brighter, a little bit softer. Okay, let's go over here to these trees. So I'm going to edit again the way I would. Looking for a feeling of magic. See, like what makes that little boy pop out of the wilderness? What makes the wilderness look like an inviting place? This one maybe? Bring up the blacks. Bring up maybe the overall light. Contrast, shadows down, shadows up. Right about here, increase some clarity. Yikes. That'd be kind of fun if we did bright colors all summer. Um, and then I'm also, uh, we need to be careful about even the tiniest little ways of cropping. Like this tree right there on the corner, there's a little bit of light. You can also use a gradient tool to brighten up what's happening down here. Just maybe he pops out a little bit more. Let's see what that looks like side by side. Okay. Uh, I actually really like the softness in over here. It's pretty but we have to think about the overall collection and they need to match so see how now these three that i've edited i think they're more in a similar realm of brightness but when we bring in uh so yeah those kind of they all match but if i brought in this one see how how muted it is it's kind of like it's too soft too heavy i'm gonna copy and paste now over here that's what I did in the forest it was too dark so I might just keep all the colors and everything I've done but just bring it down a little bit um, and he's right in the middle of the frame which is not really ideal cropping so we want to bring him down so he's on a third and now that's much more visually appealing and it will add more variety to the gallery so that everything's not blending together uh, we need to bring down grain enable the profile uh, you know greens are actually really pretty when we make them uh, more yellow 
brighten them up a little bit. That adds to this magicalness. I see the green. I do not like that. I do like this. It almost looks like it's fall, though. It's too much. Um, so it's just giving it a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the fall. And now you'll see the difference in the photos. The reason I add that yellow in is just because it's warm. And remember, these the problem with these photos were that they were too cold and too green uh, when we have these warm ones next to it. You know, like this is so yellow, I want to make this have a little bit more yellow. Um, but I don't think he's popping out enough, so I'm going to keep working and like, ooh, see, every, now it's like the light that comes through the trees really brightens it up. See the difference? This versus this. This feels a little flat. This is feeling more artistic. Okay. Uh, this lighting is similar to back here, so I'm going to go and copy and paste, assuming that it's going to get us pretty close. I try and just copy and paste so we stick with as similar stuff as possible once we've established a, a preset. I'm going to crop his bottom left leg here. See that little bit of distraction? That's a little bit cleaner. I would also like to crop on the right side because that tree right here, this line is a little distracting. And so is the tag on his shoe. So we just pull in like this and now the lines are much cleaner and uh, shadows and black, it's all pretty good, you know? It's not actually that far off. Okay, let me make sure we've done down here. Grain down, yeah. So, see the difference? It's just a little bit more poppy, a little bit brighter, and the cleaner edges. Like little things like this on the side make a huge difference to the subconscious. It's super smooth now. Um, and when you look at it, this bright light has an energy to it, whereas this is kind of soft. This softness actually is, is kind of reminiscent of like romantic wedding photography. It's, it's pastel and pretty versus pastel and, and pump poppy. Um, <laughs> isn't it weird to try and explain light and color with words? All right. Um, I feel like you probably did a really good job. Already. This is really great, like awesome. I'm not even gonna change anything except just that little bit of uh, clarity and uh, contrast, maybe a little. It could be a little brighter, but just for fun because I like bright photos. Um, and one thing you can do is use the brush and uh, iris enhance will brighten the eyes. And just don't be too specific, but just over the eye area, lighten it up a little bit. So that his eyes really sparkle, make the highlights pop out of his eyes. Not too much so that he looks so weird, but just like that to that. See, it like kind of it removes the shadows under the eyebrows, so he he like boo, he's sparkly now. Uh, and then also his eyes are dead center, so I would probably crop this down a little bit uh, just to see if it looks better if he's a little off center and that's gonna because it's a close portrait like the background really isn't adding anything so if we're gonna go that close let's like really go that close and make it about his face this is gonna be more powerful see this is like meh and this is like ooh we're right close into his face um yeah awesome almost done here um now see the color how different that color is compared to this one so I'm just going to copy and paste from this original photo over here. And let's add in some warmth, but not too much. Bring down the contrast. It's like anytime there's lines, there's wooden structures, there's tree trunks. The lines are distracting already, and then if they are dark, they're going to make it be even more distracting. Let's bring the focus down on him, cropping the side through the middle of this tree so there's less of a distracting line. It's more focused on him. I'm going to rotate it slightly so that we're more in line with the railing, um, which means we need to crop this tree again. Getting very close to his hand, dangerously close. Um, 
and I feel like that's better. And it's not like the greatest portrait, so I'm going to move on. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. But look at that. See the difference? How this is warmer, brighter, uh, happier. This one's feeling cold. Uh, this is also like he's in the middle of a bunch of nothing happening. So there's so instead we're going to zoom in on him. Compared to this, where we want to show the background. Um, final photo. Let's copy and paste from the photo nearby. Up the exposure a lot. Sometimes this color picker tool will help us find the neutral color when we're really, really far off like that. Um, this photo is never going to be a perfectly perfect photo because it was taken in the dark. Let's rotate it so that it's on. Actually bring it down a little bit more. <coughs> so it is more focused on him. Sometimes I don't deliver these photos because they're... Uh, too grainy and like really is he giving you the cutest face in the world no um so like we'd go to the gallery and like how many photos are in here is that photo adding could it be taken away like this one's so cute this one's so cute by comparison like let's not give them this one like it's not really adding i want to be very intentional about like every photo if that was the only photo they got they'd be like hell yeah like that is so cute. That is so cute. That is so cool. That is so cute. Yes, yes. And then this one shows up and it's like, eh, he's just kind of staring. The light's kind of bad. Let's not. And the problem is that when you start to deliver a whole bunch that are mediocre, it makes the whole collection feel mediocre. And the ones that really shine are lost in there. Whereas if we deliver less photos and we're like, we're only giving you these ones, then they're like, holy shit, every photo they gave us was incredible. So I hold it to that standard. It's like going through one more time and being like, are these really um, the best? You know? And it's okay to not give them photos. Um, the last thing we're going to do is open it up in alien skin exposure. And probably not going to do anything drastic. I might even just be imagining the effect that it has. But I do believe that it has some kind of a little uh, ability to make the photos more crisp in a way that Lightroom can't. And um, the grain, the little bit of grain that it adds, it looks better. It's a nicer quality grain than the grain in um, Lightroom. So I like this top one. I don't want the whole thing gets cold and kind of washed out. So I'm just going to experiment and see if it, I like it if we just add a little bit. Like maybe just subtly, like 30%. Zero is there. 30 is there. You know, it's so subtle. I want it to be subtle. Um, you can check. See how crisp it gets? It's like, pa pa. Bring it down so it doesn't blow your face off. Just a little bit. Ta-da! Yeah, 20, 30 percent, something like that. That one already has too much green because it's yours. Yeah, something like that. That's how it goes. Um, that's it.